accomplished our membrane potentials and our steady states. Let's talk about uh, changing that mm -hmm. and the things we can do to change that. Mm -hmm. So because we've already gone over this, I'm going to draw a really sort of simple version, like here's our membrane mm -hmm. and here's our net movement of potassium ions, and this is just the net movement, mm -hmm. which is the sum of both the fluxes. The concentration and the electrical, and the electrical. fluxes. Yeah, and our sodium uh -huh. net and movement. And that's again net. So, and we established that we need a pump. Mm -hmm. And previously we had worked with a pump where it's pumping one potassium in for every one sodium out. Right. But in reality... But in reality, um, the sodium-potassium pumps that we have in our nerves is two potassium in, so mm -hmm. times two, mm -hmm. and three sodium out, mm -hmm. so times three. Mm -hmm. So what's the net effect of that? Well, this means that net we're going to have one positive charge moving out of the cell. Ah, what's that going to do to the membrane potential? It would cause a charge buildup of negative charges on the inside and positive charges on the outside. Good. And if you do that, that increases the polarization so the membrane has... Hyperpolarized. That's right. So this is a pump that changes the polarization across the membrane, and in this case hyperpolarize it, the term that you use for a pump that generates electricity across the membrane is? An electrogenic pump. That's right, electrogenic, creating electrical separations. That's an electrogenic pump. Good. Now, that then is where we are, and we're at the resting potential, which includes the electrogenic pump. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we could do is we could poison the pump, and there's a drug that's called Lobane, yeah, we're sitting at minus 60 millivolts. O-U-A-B-A-I-N. And it stops this from working. Mm -hmm. So let's... So if the pump stops working, mm -hmm. if we poison the pump, mm -hmm. then this is no longer happening. Mm -hmm. And that gets rid of our net movement of charge. And what does the rest of the fluxes do in response to that? You draw a point instead of an arrow because right. we're not moving. Right. Um, and that would then cause, wouldn't it cause the sodiums that flow into the cell and the potassiums that flow out of the cell would end up breaking down this? Right, because what will happen is, the again, the electrical gradient now is slightly larger than it was and so there'll be more flux of positive charges in, and they'll counteract that and break it down. Mm -hmm. And so you've reduced the polarization across the membrane. That means the membrane after the poisoning does what? Depolarizes. Excellent. Okay, should I write that? Or? Yeah, you should say that if, it, if the pump hyperpolarizes. So, uh, why well, poison the pump which depolarizes polarizes the membrane? That's right. Good. Anything else you want to say about the pump? No. And I, what will happen after many, many hours if the pump is not there? Well, if the pump isn't there, then we can't undo this net flow of, of our ions, mm -hmm. and so they would eventually have the concentration gradient break down. And you might go to you might go to where they're equal on both sides, or you might go to a dominant equilibrium. It'll depend on what the concentrations are. Okay.